My name is Janie, and in this video, I'm going to walk through the Guided Hunting Azure Resource Explorer Notebook. This tutorial is filmed running the notebook directly in Jupyter Notebook, but you can also run it on Azure Machine Learning, Jupyter Lab, or VS Code. This notebook helps you visualize the resources in your workspace, allowing you to pivot from one resource to another while hunting. It features a resource graph visualization based on the Azure Resource Graph Explorer API and queries security alert logs, sign-in logs, and Azure activity logs for any related activity to the resources in your workspace. The first section of the notebook is notebook initialization. This is similar to the start of most of the other Azure Sentinel notebooks we publish. It checks that you have properly installed the Python libraries and Mystic Pi. If you would like to customize the notebook, we highly suggest taking a look at the Mystic Pi documentation. The notebook then gets the workspace ID and other Azure information you set up in the Mystic Pi config YAML file. Details on how to do this are available in the description and it is the same as that for other notebooks. So if you've done it for another notebook, this notebook should run fine. It then connects to the appropriate query providers, which allows us to pull information from security logs into the notebook. In the next step, you select the resource that you want to investigate. You can select what time frame you are interested in and enter the resource ID of your resource. If you are not sure, it's, which can help you pick a resource that might seem interesting. You can choose anything from the query results using the drop down in the next cell. You can then, as you chose, and view some preliminary information on it. The next section of the notebook generates a graph so you can visualize all of the resources in your workspace and how they are related to one another. Run each cell in order, and when each cell is done running, it will print that it was successfully run and you can move on to the next cell. The show graph section will print out the graph you generated in the previous section. Each circle represents a resource. The sizes of each circle correspond to how many alerts were found related to that resource. Resources that were found with connections to each other, for example, a disk being managed by a VM, will be connected to the appropriate related node. You can zoom in and filter for the resources you would like to see and set an alert threshold as well. At the moment of this recording, you must set the alert threshold again to regenerate the graph after changing the filtering. So for example, in this case, let's say that this is showing too many types of nodes and you're only interested in certain things, you can go ahead and remove the resource types that you're not interested in and regenerate the graph. The notebook then provides a series of general investigatory first steps. You can run the related alert section and find related alert log entries related to your selected resource. This information should help you pivot to another entity that you can investigate in depth with one of the other Jupyter notebooks, which are linked below. There is also a timeline if you would like to rerun and adjust the time frame of your search or use the timeline to better understand suspicious activity. The resource graph section allows you to choose a different resource as you're hunting and to take a quick look at its details. It also prints out some summary information on the resources in your workspace. The final section queries the Azure activity logs for any related information to your resource, connects any TI data to your TI providers for some context, and prints out a timeline as well to help you contextualize your hunt. Again, we recommend taking the information you find here and pivoting on an interesting entity with our other Jupyter notebooks. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you find this helpful, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask.